products grown in Georgia are all around us, with a geographic range stretching from the coastal plains to the Appalachian Mountains, Georgia boasts an agricultural diversity second to none. The following profile is one of Georgia's products that proudly calls itself Georgia Grown. We all admire the long, neat rows and abundant crops in a farmer's field, but we tend to quickly forget how closely that relates to our own little piece of ground we have outside our doorstep. On this episode of Georgia Grown, we'll stay closer to home and discover more about plants that can be a beautiful addition to your home landscape and be a part of tonight's dinner. There's a wide variety of plants that are both uh, edible and ornamental. Um, you've got blueberries and figs, pomegranates, persimmons, a number of different greens, and of course your kales, shards, and then the lettuces, which come in every color from a bright chartreuse yellow to a, a deep burgundy red. Some of the easiest things you can grow in a window box or at an arm's length from the back door are the many types of herbs that grow well here in Georgia. Basil, thyme, mint, dill, and chives require very little room and can be a great addition to a variety of dishes. So here's a rosemary here. This particular one is called Salem. And this is an upright rosemary. It grows into a very robust shrub and then you can just walk right out the front door, take a snippet of it, and use it to spice your stew. And then right next to it here is the evergreen blueberry. This is um, Vaccinium deroei, Rose's Blush, and it will keep its leaves year-round, uh, and it makes little tiny blueberries that you will get to enjoy if the birds don't get to them first. So we can eat the greens, the herbs, and even the blueberries, but what about those beautiful petals and blossoms? There are some flowers that people don't know are uh, completely edible. There are violas, um, nasturtiums, which we tend to grow more in the early spring. You can use roses, rose hips. Also, the petals of begonia flowers are edible as well. Even if all you have is a four by four foot balcony, you can still have, you know, just a very inexpensive bushel basket that you fill with dirt and you get six or seven plants, maybe some lettuces, and then a few herbs, you know, throw some rosemary, oregano, and thyme in there, and you can just go right out onto your balcony and harvest the, the greens and clip some of the herbs and throw it on your plate and you've got dinner.